All right, welcome everybody. Happy uh, Black Friday. Uh, we are doing our second part of MSC Cruise nice Um, So thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate you hanging out. Um, so we're on part two of MSC. Um, hopefully you guys have all done your, your um, supplier request form. You're in MSC book. From here, you go to training, training, you go to MSC masters. Um, that will then take you into the training. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you have to register with the training also, okay? And that can take, somebody said they got approved right away. It took mine overnight to get approved, okay? Um, so you need to do that. Once you get there, that's when you go ahead and you sign in. And then we have completed the first part of the training. Let's get there. And as I said last week, we are going to get to the second part and <clears throat> they were doing an update. So let's see, did anybody else go in and finish or did, you know, some people, again, you guys can work ahead. You guys can do these on your own, um, but they're fun when we do them as a group, right? So um, it's still loading for me. Okay, there. All right, so my training. So we're gonna click here to my training, okay. Courses. And then, bum, bum, bum. Elizabeth, I'm just going to put you as co-host just in case my computer goes down. I don't want to lose everybody, and then I'll jump back on. Well, I'm having trouble getting signed in as well. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, you might you might try to find somebody else. <laughs> Anybody else signed in, ready to go? That I can just Teresa. How about you? All it is is I just want to make sure you know you guys all stay on. Um, or Michelle, you want to be a co-host? Sure, I can be, oh, um, but I have all eight courses yeah. again. So I oh, don't okay. know, some say we're all attended, just like you. I look just like you. Okay, so Teresa, I'll go ahead and put you again. And then again, it's just in case my computer goes down, that way you guys can all stay on and I don't lose y'all. All right. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thank you, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think we did this one, right? Didn't we complete this one? Yes. Okay. So now we're so. going to meet the fleet. Okay. So um, more actions. So we're going to start it. I think we, is that a line underneath them showing our progress? Like if you're looking at the screen, scroll down a little bit. I think we did meet the fleet. Maybe, maybe not. We do. I don't know. Let me look up here. It just says in progress. Mm -hmm. No, we're on meet the Okay. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I think I think that's um with the last one and then it you try to go to the next one and it wouldn't allow you. I think that was it. They because they started doing the update on mm -hmm. it. So. All right. Well let's try it, make sure everybody's there. Yeah. They showed us a little bit about the computer. All right. They showed us a little bit about the fleet, but then they stopped everything, so we didn't get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oops, update. It's like, what are you talking about? We just started. All right. So, and so you, if, if any of you guys are new, just so you guys know, some of these are older trainings. Some of them, they have glitches. Um, it's a TBO Academy that we always have problems with with that. So, um but so we're going to go here. Yeah, I, I just, yeah, I just got a message. It said uh, resume. So yeah, it must have stopped while you were doing it. Okay. All right. So let's try it. Mine is just. Yeah, I think we started to do this, right? Because I know I remember seeing this and then I think it kicked us out or something. All right. So this is talking about, let me know if everybody's good. Again, guys, we also make sure we wait for everybody to do the test. So again, if you're still trying to catch up and stuff, don't worry. We're not going to leave you behind, okay? All right. 
<clears throat> so uh, 2003 to 2005, 2014. So these are the, the ships that came on board. Opera, Lyrica, Symphonia, Avonia. Um, 2006 to 2010, Magnifica, Poesia, Orchestra, and Musica. Uh, I need to click on them to get information. Okay. Um, the Presagio, there we go. So again, you can click on the ship to see, um, you know, more information on them, how big they are, how many okay. uh, uh, tonnage, the length. So this one has the crystal staircase, specialty restaurants, themed bars, play areas built in 2013. Um, again, you can click here, download the technical sheet. So a lot of people will do like binders and stuff to kind of help them to know what's on that ship, what's available. Okay, so you can download that. We can do a, a vision on that. Let's see, this is a quick video of it. Maybe not a quick video. <laughs> Maybe a short video. Uh, do you guys come over in the commission? Yeah, I'm not getting anything. One is spinning. Yeah. Okay. So, Burning. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you. This is available for you to, um, to watch these videos. I'm not going to watch each one, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of different ships and stuff. But again, if you're, you know, wanting to get more information or, or you know, show one of your clients, you know, here's the ship we're going on, you know, uh, like, like us, we're going on the Miraglia Via or whatever it is. So, you know, I may take a copy of that and send that over to my daughter. I think it has a bowling alley in there and stuff. She was all excited about yesterday at Thanksgiving, telling her sisters about it. Um, so again, you know, get in here, check these out. This one has eight restaurants. Buffets. The thing with MSC, they do have specialty restaurants where you do have to pay. I did go on one and I went and wanted a, you know, chips and salsa and a margarita. I mean, I had to pay for my bottled water. They didn't have fresh water. I had to pay for, you know, with one thing of chips, I got two different salsas. And, you know, there was four of us. So we wanted a, a couple different ones. And like, you only get one thing of chips for every order. <laughs> Yeah, they wouldn't even give us refills. So those say nickel and dime you. So um, just kind of wanted to share again when you're going on different cruises and stuff. Um, that's one thing to consider. You know, what's like Virgin Voyages, pretty much everything's included, right? Um, so again, that's something to, to keep in mind when you're, you know, booking these cruises for people. Um compare what's included and what's not on these different ones, okay? Um, because like I said, that was kind of a a downer for me. I'm like, what the heck, you know, charge for, for even a refill on the chips when he hardly even gave us a full basket? <laughs> All right. So as you see here, that's why I don't think I'm going to click on each one to watch that because we'll be here forever trying to get this system to upload. I can't even get it going. This is great. Yeah. And again, I won't even let me. Um, what's her name said, uh, you know, Jill said that they're trying to get it upgraded and stuff. But um, so again, I apologize, guys. Hopefully we can try to just do a refresh. But tomorrow mm -hmm. we're doing Central Europe, if you want to join me for Central Europe, okay? And then Rail Europe on Thursday. I don't have a Friday and Saturday filled out. Probably MSC will do on Friday because I don't think we're going to get through it today. Um, and then... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, is everybody else kind of locked up? Hey, Marnie. Uh-huh. 
I might go ahead and sign off. I got my um, pop-up blocker off. Yeah. It, it's not even, I can't even update a password or anything. So I will continue to try and I will see y'all later. All right. Thank you. You're um, welcome. Have a great weekend, guys. You too. you too. What about everybody else? How How are you doing? Should we maybe do a different training today and just wait for MSC to get updated? Uh, I think so, because it keeps going back to the first page on me. Yeah. Anybody I'm not else having any problems smoothly? clicking on? I didn't. I, just went I went to the final cruise. Sorry for talking over you. It's right to the cruise. I mean, to the quiz, not to the cruise. To the quiz. If you click to the bottom. It's right at the quiz already. Yeah. Um, it's really jumping around. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's Are you clicking through the cruises? I well, I clicked just on one of the cruises and, and yeah. that's where it locked me up, you know, because I clicked on the cruise and then I watched we watched the video and then it like locked me up. Yeah, I just clicked is... on the fleet and then click on the different I didn't do anything with the video. Yeah. And then clicked on the the ships and I'm getting all the details on all the ships. That's how right. mine is, Carol. Yeah. I didn't click on the video either. Yeah, and mine so is we'll still try going, going through. through again real quick. And then if it locks up, we'll try something else. I know we have a lot of California ones we still need to finish. Um, but uh let's try it. I just won't click on the video. So again. Um, it's a very touchy, just like Princess and Canard were very touchy and very, um, you know, we had to send in for them to even acknowledge that we did the, the training. Okay. So, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started on this and try it again. Yeah, I'm not having any problem. Okay, cool. Yeah, I as long as you just click on the ships and read the right like that, and then click on each ship, you can go through them, and then you get to the quiz. Yeah, because what I did at the top right, you see where it has the arrow, the little house, and the X. Yep. So you click on the arrow. Don't click the X because if you click the X, it's going to take you all the way out. Okay. All right, so again, here's these two ships. Gives you the information here. So again, yeah. you don't know if you guys want screen prints or anything. Again, it has the information you can print out, you watch the video, stuff like that. I don't know what this is right here. Um, go to the next one. Again, you click the ship. It's going to give us details. Uh, this is a sister ship, um, Europa. Oops. Coming into service in 2025. Look at that huge ship. Very nice. Okay. Go to next. All right. Next. All right. And then all these. So I, <clears throat> I'll be traveling on this one in two weeks. So. Which one? The Meraviglia. This is the one that we are getting free cruises to the uh -huh. Bahamas or Caribbean. Yeah. So five restaurants. Again, I think there's a taco and catina, but again, you had to pay for that. So you got the free buffets and stuff, which is probably where I'll be eating. But uh, um, yeah, I, I'm on a tight budget, but I fear you know we're gonna go. Um, perfect ship for kids. Legos. So again, you can get more information. Let me just click download. Okay, so we'll pull that up later. And now, which one, uh, Marnie? Did you say they pay? Uh, they cover everything. I think it Virgin Voyages, oh. Richard Branson's cruise line. Okay. I mean, you could go to the candy shop and get any candy you want. You know, I mean. If you haven't been on it, like us as new agent or us as agents, uh, um, when they first started sailing two years ago, just for doing the training, guys, we got a free cruise through them. So I always tell everybody, anytime a cruise line comes on or register with these cruise lines, because Norwegian had the same thing. They invited us out overnight on a ship um, <clears throat> to get their staff ready for the next day um, on their tour. Oops, hold on. 
Um, so they let us stay overnight. We got a balcony room. They gave us a Yeti coffee cup. We got steak, lobster, all this because they just needed to get their staff prepared because they moved it over from Europe side over to the West Coast. I wasn't registered with them. I didn't get an invite. Um, one of my agents did. Her husband couldn't go. And so she invited me. So again, if you guys want to take advantage of these Princess Cruise Line, their tour of their ship, um, it wasn't sent out. But if you go up to their marketing tab, there's a ship tour inspection that you can sign up for. Um, Carnival will usually post that or send you a private email on that. Um, but there's a lot of different ones out there, guys, that you know you can take advantage of. And it's really cool to go on these tours of the ships while they're in port, okay? So again, kind of check out, again, they have the specialty restaurants, a lot of the same ones, okay? The kids clubs and stuff. Um, so again, I don't know if they're going to have a test on what, how many guests are in each one or whatever. I don't know. You know, we can have somebody take a screen print, but there's no way I'd be re able to remember all these as it is. So, um, as you go through them, when you've completely gone through all the ships in a particular section, it'll give a little check mark. See how it is on the top of yours. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, which other one do we have to do here? So what I'm saying, though, on the test part, um, you know, which one has the butcher block or whatever? Oh, the grandiosa. Um, again, if you guys are are good at remembering things or taking screenshots so we know. Um, did I hit them all yet? Your Rivia, I don't think I did that one. This one. All right, 6,000. So this one's a pretty big one. Most environmental advanced ship. Could be, again, a test question. 112 meter gallery, boutiques, bars, and restaurants. Right. Okay, which one am I missing? Virtuoso. And we did the the other the listener. There we go. Get them all. All right, now we're looking at seashore, sea view, seaside, seascape. <clears throat> The blue water, beautiful. I've taken screenshots on all the last three. Okay, thank you. Um, Robotron, state-of-the-art romantic arm flying above the sea, provides unique 360-degree view of the horizon. Bridge of size, glass bottom pathway offering unique ocean views, perfect photo spot. That'd be kind of cool, see the fish underneath. Infinity pool, largest infinity pool at sea. Cabaret um, Rouge, inspired by French cabaret lounges, superb sea views through its generous glass walls. So that's seascape, seashore. Right. 74 guests with dis disabilities and reduced mobility. So that's nice to know. This is a nice ship that will help um, the handicapped or um, disabilities. Spectacular glass floor, choice of dining areas, specialty restaurants, Fresco Outdoor Specialty Dining, and they have the Kids Club. The Sea View, it's like a little smaller. Okay, unique design, glass floored catwalks and waterfront boardwalk. They have an aqua park and four pools. So this would be a really good family one, I would say. Again, the specialty restaurants and kids clubs located here. And then Seaside, let's check that one out. All right, so a uh, bridge of size, the glass floored catwalks, the aqua park, the specialty restaurants are pretty much the same. Okay. 
I think we're done with this one. Make sure you get your check mark. <laughs> All right, Preziosa. Um, the staircase, the specialty restaurants, themed bars, wine and cigar lounge, play area for the kids. Splendida. And you guys, um, again, you may want to think of a niche market for disabilities, okay? Um, because there, there's not a lot of people out there that sell that. And, uh, you know, I know we have a training on Mondays for that. There's different certifications you can get. But again, it's a nice niche market for you. Again, specialty restaurants, the bars, the kids area, and of course, the crystal staircase. Davina. Um, specialty restaurants, themed bars, play area, does not have the aqua park. And then Fantasia. <clears throat> Crystal Staircase, variety of um, specialty restaurant, variety of bars, and the kids area. Okay. Marty, which one did you say they cater to the... Um... Disabled. It looks like most of these right here, because if you look right here, up here, 43 for guests with disabilities. So they have specialty rooms. Um, usually that's not noted a lot. I mean, I know some of the um, cruise lines have them, you know, and they say they go quick. So I don't know how many they have, but here they're actually noting that, you know, there's 1700 rooms with 45 of them for disability or reduced mobility. Okay, I see. So I don't know if it's just these. Let's go to the next program um, set of ships. Um, so right now we know that these do. So let's check these. Magnifica, Poesia. Pull this up. Yeah, so it looks like they may all have them, and, and it's nice that they separated out to let us know. Um, <clears throat> but again, as they say, they book quickly, guys. So if you do have have somebody that's disabled, need wheelchair accessibility, you know, mobility room in their room, um, make sure you let them know and get that booked early. Skylight lit indoor pool with retractable sliding glass rope. That's kind of cool. So they can, if it's storming, they can close it up and you can still enjoy the pool and stuff. A specialty restaurant, again, those are usually... Um, uh, additional fees okay uh play areas and then of course the variety of themed bars and lounges i did hear that you know even if you buy the drink package um the staff what from what i've read um they're like over they don't have enough staff to fill the drinks so it's like you order a drink pack and you have to wait 20 minutes for a drink and stuff so how are you supposed to get your 15 drinks you know if you have to wait for it so long anyway Again, I, I chose not to do the drink package because three of the days we're on the ship, we're going to be in land, you know. So I'm like, well, why am I going to pay $400 for a drink package? It's crazy. Um, and again, like with MSC, you're not allowed to bring anything on. With Carnival, you can bring on, you know, 12 packs of soda or water. Um, and each person in your room can bring a bottle of wine. So... Um, that's nice, you know, and that's what we did the last time. But with MSC, they don't allow you to bring anything. So, again, things to compare. Uh, specialty restaurant, variety theme bars, and play area. 17 guests, disabled room. Again, smaller <laughs> ship here. That's the orchestra. Poesia. Do, 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 do. Uh, specialty sushi bar. Um, wine and cigar bar in the themed lounges and um, teen and kids area and musica. Okay, sushi bar, same thing. Okay, so they're pretty, pretty uh, similar. Okay, as they got these, um, as they break them out and bring on new ships. There we go, spinning away. All right, last but not least, we have 
the opera lyrica okay so here's the opera so these are the newer ships look at that this one only has six so this is a tiny one okay expanded state rooms dining areas more balcony state rooms and kids area Classic cruising at its finest. So this must be more like upper class or something. I don't know. Sinfonia. Look at the pools. Only five. Look at that. Only 980 rooms. <clears throat> Expanded state rooms, themed bars, play area. Okay. So a lot smaller than the other ones we've been looking at. Same thing, some specialty restaurant play areas and expanded state rooms. And Harmonia. Again, very small state room, surf and turf restaurants. So it looks like they each have like a different one. Surf and turf, sushi. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we completed that. Let's move on. Okay, does that mean we've completed the fleet? Just click on click quiz. Quiz, we're on to the quiz. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. <clears throat> all right, the Yacht Club is available on all our ships. That's false. False. Yacht Club is available on just those available. Okay. Got that? Is everybody getting these same questions? What was the answer to number uh, two? No. no. I'm getting different questions. Okay. okay. We have just done in a different two. order. Take a, take a, or put in there. Um, the Yacht Club is not, is false. It's not available on every ship. Okay. This one is false. Okay. All right, guys. So again, pay attention because if it's not your question, it probably will be down the line. Okay. Average number of staterooms per ship is less than 1,000. And as you saw, that's wrong because we had other, you know, bigger ships, right? So we're going to say false. Only the Armenia and Snonia have less than 1,000. Okay. So that's not um, the average. <clears throat> All right, the Meraviglia class comprises Lisma, Grandosa, Virtua, and Eurobia. True? That's true. Okay. But they yeah. are all listed in that group, right? Okay. And that's that's the one we're going on. So I'll watch for pictures. I'll be on that from the 9th through the 16th. Which one? What is it? Which which um, cruise ship are you going to be on? Right here, the Miraviglia. I think um, I think Erica and Emily and I think Amy Powell are on that right now. So if you follow them, they're on Facebook posting pictures now about it. Okay. Hey, cool. All right, World Europa, Europa isn't powered by LNG, offers six specialty restaurants, boasts a groundbreaking design, offers 65% of staterooms with the sea view. All right, so do we pick pick one? Okay, I would say- This is a question I'm on. Okay, I'm thinking those three, what do you guys think? I don't know, did anybody print out Europa? I didn't get this one. Okay. Let me just try it. Correct. All right. So this is one of the first powered LNG. Okay. So it's all of these except for isn't powered. All right. So if you get this question next, just remember that.
How many ships make up the MSC cruise fleet? Okay, like 22. How many did we go over? Thinking there was um, three to five in each group, right? We had five different groups. What do you guys think? <clears throat> I'm going to guess 22. I want to say 19. I think it's 19. It's 22. So if you guys get that, it's 22, the highest number. Okay. The MSC for me is the digital innovation program featured on board which ships? They may be all of them. I have no idea. Anybody know? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I was so I was gonna guess all of them, but I was just like, uh. yeah, I'll, I'll just guess all of them only because you know they should. If they offer it's a pr digital program, it should be offered on all ships, right? Ah, incorrect. Okay, so do you see this, guys? <clears throat> Take a picture of it if you get this question. So it's not on the Lyrica, Ammonia, or Symphonia. And I think those are the tiny ships, aren't they, maybe? Yeah, those are the ones with less than a thousand, with a thousand yeah. under. Yeah. Okay, so you guys got that? Take a picture. Just remember the Nia, Nia, and Lyrica. <laughs> Okay, how about which of these ships feature the unique seafront promenade? Uh, again, how, um, how, unless you take pictures, how do you remember? Seafront promenade. It's the sea, it's everything that says sea. It's sea view, seaside, and seashore. Seascape, too? And seascape, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay, yep. perfect. All right, so seafront, all the seas. Let's try it. Yay, you are so smart. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, you got that? So seafront. Thank you. Seas. Huh? So again, just, I just what, said 19 ships or 22? 22. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, next. Yay, we're done. Okay, so did everybody get their questions? Does anybody have any different questions? Again, they could just be out of order. So we don't know what is our score? What? The score, I missed one, it looked like. He said we, oh, how do you find out? It, it just, it just, says it it just it'll tell you if you failed or not, I'm sure. So as long as it says, well done, you've successfully completed the quiz, then you passed. You get, once you press the X, it updates with your score. Okay, thank you. So does everybody answer their questions? Does, it, does anybody have okay. Does anybody have what? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, the question for MSC World Europia, or Europa, um, what is the answer to that one? What What are the options? Uh, isn't powered by LNG. Yeah, it isn't powered. That's the only one that it's not. The other three okay. are right. Okay, so that's the correct answer? The other three are the the all three except for isn't powered because it is powered. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. It so said it was it said it said it was incorrect. <laughs> you did all three except for isn't powered. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold yeah. On. Yeah, you're supposed to do all three and leave the isn't powered because that's the incorrect one. Okay. Okay.
Okay, so got an 85 to pass. So then let me know when everybody passes. Hey, David. Hi, Marty. Are you following along? I took, I, I took all kinds of pictures. I'm going to go on the computer and I'm going to do mine. Okay. I have it recorded also. Yeah, I see that. All right. Anybody else? We want to make sure everybody passed. Everybody good so we can move forward? Yeah, I'm fine. Perfect. All right. Let's go to the next one. So, yay. Thanks, guys. At least it's kind of going, going slowly but surely. All right. How do I get back to the home? Yes, I clicked home. But I, that's what I did. I just picked home and we're at the yacht club. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Again, go down here to training. And now we are going to our next course. That one wasn't too bad. All right. The Yacht Club. So let's find out about the Yacht Club. Also, guys, I don't know um, if you've signed up for MSC for the cruises and stuff, but um, uh, I was able to add my gold status with Carnival to the Yacht Club with MSC. They honor your other levels with other cruise ships. I did try to do it with Princess because I'm an elite. Once you get that free cruise, you get to be an elite, um, but you can only do one or the other. And I did print, I did carnival first. So supposedly when you do that, you get additional perks and upgrades because now they consider you a gold or, a, you know, a higher up than just your first time timer on a yacht on the MSC. So just kind of wanted to share that. All right. So we're going to go into the yacht club, full description of the, um, exclusivity and privacy of the summit, the schedule and pricing, additional information. Okay, so let's get started. The links in the chat don't work for you. Um, are you trying, are you saying because you're trying to get into our training? Um, you got to remember though, um, TT, I don't know if you're new. But with MSC, you have to first get approved from MSC from a Archer Travel to be able to even get into MSC. And then from there, you have to go to the training tab and register there. And that usually takes time to get approved. So if you haven't done either of those, that's probably why you can't get into the links on the chat, possibly. All right, uh, so the Yacht Club, that's a video experience, staterooms, dining, and on board, and then the quiz. So I'm thinking we probably have to click on it, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, so I'll show you when we're done, TT, how to, how to get access so you can catch up and then join us next Friday for part three. Marnie, yes, I have a question. Is it possible? Can you do the MSC on Saturday or does it matter? Um, you mean to switch it for like next month to do it on Saturdays or what? The MSC one. Are we finishing MSC today or no? We're on MSC right now. Yeah, I know. So are we going to do all of MSC today? No, what, what it is, is Fridays are usually my cruise days. So whatever we don't finish, we'll finish next, we'll move to next Friday. 
Because tomorrow we have Central Europe set up. Okay. Okay. And on the calendar, you know, we usually have it. So, like, usually, because a lot of times, like, you know, we do things on Friday, people that show up on Friday may not be able to show up on Saturday. So that's why when we do these cruises, I like to keep it the same day because the people that do show up are usually off that day. And that's why we have the same group that can finish it with us. And so okay. we get across the board Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then you're going to have people come and go because they work or they have, you know, they go to church or whatever. So that's how we have it scheduled. Uh, okay, no problem. Okay. All right. So here's the MSC Yacht Club experience. Again, you get weighted on. So it's available on all these ships. Okay. I don't know if somebody wants to take a screenshot in case we get to test it on it. All right. So you have Target. So this is maybe the Target audience. Seeking exclusive private onboard atmosphere. They desire tailor-made experiences. Celebrate a special occasion, such as honeymoon or anniversary, birthday, graduation, a job promotion, or retirement. <clears throat> Privileges. So, um, oops. Uh, dedicated priority check-in and check-out. Priority departure, return on excursions. 24-hour butler service. Look at that. Dedicated concierge, 24 hours. Room service, 24 hours. Unlimited drinks and dining within the Yacht Club. Inclusion of browse internet package and unlimited data for two devices. Complimentary access to the spa. Very nice. Tailor-made experiences from shopping to excursions. Relaxation amenities in each suite. Other personal touches, they have luggage packing and unpacking. So you leave your room, all your clothes are put away for you. They deliver um, newspapers to your room and then awards Voyager Club's loyalty points per cruise. Okay, so those are the privileges of the Yacht Club. Exclusivity, dedicated private area on the ship only to Yacht Club guests lavishly fitted suites offering outstanding comfort located in the upper decks of the ship panoramic top sail lounge with bar afternoon tea light food 20 hours per day live music available every night you have the dedicated exclusive sun deck with pool solarium and bar you have gourmet dining in the private msc yacht club restaurant with choice of dining time during restaurant opening hours and then World of Choice, access to a wide range of venues and onboard activities available throughout the ship. So they have special bars and lounges, specialty restaurants, pools. You get a premium buffet, varied entertainment of Broadway, Las Vegas style theater shows almost daily. The spa treatments, complimentary access to the thermal suite, packages and treatments charged separately. Entertainment for adults and children of all ages, recreational activities for children, open air sports facilities, and well-equipped gym with panoramic view. Okay, who wants to join the Yacht Club? Probably pay a pretty penny for that, right? All right, let's look at the accommodations. All right, hypoallergenic or memory foam pillows, Egyptian cotton bathrobes and bedding, marble bathrooms with shower and bath, housekeeping service, laundry and dry cleaning service available 24 hours a day, okay? Let's take a look at these staterooms. Again, maybe somebody wants to take a copy of this because they'll say, which of these is not a suite on the MSC staterooms? Or which of these is not available on the, you know, the luxury ones? So owner suite. Does it open up? Okay, there it's spinning. 
All right, so the owner's suite, up to five people, walk-in closet, large balcony with a whirlpool, stunning panoramic glass wall. Okay, so beautiful. The royal suite. <clears throat> balcony, 387 square feet. Um, so this may be like one of the ones on our ship. The balcony is also equipped with a private whirlpool. Very nice. Maximum three to four. The other one had up to five people. Comfortable king bed or single. Convertible to singles. On select ships. Separate living area, dining room, walk-in closets, vanity area, air dryer, interactive TV, mini bar, coffee machine, and bar setup. So your own little... If Condo. If you click on availability, it tells you which ships. All right. So again, if you want to take a screenshot of that, which ships it's on. So look at the owner's suite available. So the owner's suite is only available on these three. Okay. Got that? That sleeps up to five people. Duplex suite. Ooh, two stories. Very nice. Up to four people, two deck, separate living space, walk-in closets, whirlpool. Um, located right outside the yacht club, so easy access. We always like getting by the elevator, by the food, so we can just sneak up, go down the elevator, get our pizza, come back. No. <laughs> All right, so here's where the duplex suite is available. Executive and family suites. Again, guys, market to families. Executive with panoramic windows, four people, okay? Comfortable king or bed, king bed or singles. Sitting area with sofa, vanity, interactive TV. Located outside the yacht club, so for easy access. Beautiful. Doesn't look too like a family thing, but you know, they may be used to the upper class. So, <laughs> all right. So the family uh, executive family suites is available on these ships. Deluxe Grand. It looks like a little smaller balcony. This one also has three to five people that can stay there. Larger closet and balcony than the deluxe suites, okay? So the, the grand deluxe, they get a larger closet and balcony, okay? And they're available on these. Seashore, Presume, Divina, Asia. Beautiful rooms. Okay, so the deluxe suite. And also, just so you know, usually like when we get these free cruises and stuff as perks and benefits, majority of the time, just like with the princess, it's interior rooms. MSC is giving it to us a balcony room. So that's why I'm like, I have to jump on that, you know, because um, <laughs> it's the same price for balcony for us as agents. Um, all right, the Yacht Club Deluxe Suites, comfortable king bed or single, sitting area, spacious closet, bathroom, shower, vanity area, interactive TV, and bar setup. Available on all these, okay? So the Deluxe Suites are available on majority of the ships. And then Interior Suites. My boyfriend actually likes the interior because you can go in and sleep 24 hours and you, no daylight, no sun coming in at you. Comfortable king or bed, spacious closet, vanity area, interactive TV. So it's a nice little area, you know. And again, available on these ships. All right. 
next. Food, where are we gonna eat? All right, so the seclusion and privacy of an exclusive dining haven. All right, so you have the Yacht Club dedicated restaurant. So they got their own restaurant for just their Yacht Club people. Piano playing, gourmet dining, all-inclusive a la carte, variety, sophisticated menu, wide range of selection of drinks and wines, and complimentary drinks in all bars and restaurants on board the ship. So when you get on that Yacht Club, you get all the free stuff, guys. Okay, next. Oops, did it automatically go to this for you guys? Let me go back. All right, yeah, top sale lounge, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Perfect, sophisticated setting for quiet relaxation, complimentary drinks. Alcoholic beverages, gourmet finger foods, delicious desserts. The Yacht Club offers guests the chance to relax in peace and privacy while enjoying superb panoramic views from the prestigious foredeck of the ship. Again, beautiful. Sit here, have your little pina colada while you look out and see the dolphin jumping. All right, sun deck. Ideal spot, complimentary refreshments from the bar, complimentary pool snacks, a buffet area, tranquil water, private pool and whirlpool, and ocean views from the top of the ship. So again, one pool, sun deck. Only for, oh, and here, so it shows here on these ships. Rolling, rolling. All right, so I think we hit all the dining. Got my check mark. Now, onboard services. What is available? Click to discover. Spinning. I clicked the people and it came up. All right. Yeah, it's been in for me. There it goes. Yeah. Okay. okay so Taylor made a suit all our, our guests and individuals. Personalized advice provided by our butlers and concierge. Private guides and drivers subject to availability. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And this is charge separately. Okay. So private guides and drivers is... um charged separately and the tailored made excursions are um, charged. So these are extra charges, but you can get personalized advice. All right, on board. Pleasure is a complimentary use of the suite, thermal suite, advice provided by our butlers and use of dedicated yacht club room for any massages or treatment guests. Again, that's probably packages and treatments are charged separately. Of course, you're not going to get a free massage. All right, shopping, out of hours shopping in the onboard boutiques, accompanied by a butler. Private jewelry viewing in the comfort of the guest suite. Wow. Definitely won't be me. Okay. Quiz time. What? I said after this, it's quiz time. Yeah. You guys ready? Let's do it. Ready. Okay. Hold well, on, I'm going to answer this question real quick. For the Disney benefits, you can only use them per year. So for 2023, they're going to have blackout dates. So you only have a few days left for this year to use your free ticket and you have to request it 10 days in advance. Okay. 
Is this for MSC? Um, were you what I was just saying? Yeah. No, I was talking to uh, somebody was asking me about the free Disney passes. They wanted to use their oh. pass this year for next year. Okay. Next year you have to use it within that year. <clears throat> okay. All right, let's take our quiz. I hope you guys paid attention. Again, the questions may be out of order, so don't worry. We will make sure everybody gets their questions answered. Yup Club guests benefit from complimentary packages and treatments from the MSC Aurora Spa. All right, um, I would say that's false because they're not complimentary. They get to use the thermal, but the, the treatments and packages they have to pay for, correct? You guys agree? Yeah, I don't see that question. I see a completely different question. Right, so I right. Can't they're out of order. So let's see if this is right. Correct. Packages are charged right. separately. So they get access to the suite, thermal suite, but if they want massages and stuff, they have to pay extra. <clears throat> What are the state rooms you can sell with the Yacht Club experience? Remember I told you, let's take a picture of that. So I think it's the Royal Suite, the Owner Suite, Deluxe Suite, Deluxe Grand, Interior, Executive and Family. Was that it? Did anybody take a picture? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's try it. Incorrect. It also has Royal Suites can be found. Okay, so it should. So is it all of them? I think so. That's what it is. There's what duplex. You, you didn't do duplex. Yeah, I would say in that it looks like all. I of them. It looks like I was supposed to do all of them. Because I didn't do these three and it's saying they're wrong. Did anybody else get this question? No, I'm going it, through. Do we have the Lux Suite? Because I know we have the Duplex Suite. Yeah, it's saying all of them. I don't have it yet. Okay. It's all of them? That's what it's saying, yeah. So I missed it. What are no, that's incorrect. That it's not all of them. No. Okay. Did anybody get it right? We'll go back and try it if it if I fail. What are the well, main? I'll tell you what I put. Okay. Let's see. What are the main advantages of the yacht club? Yeah, I already passed. <laughs> I know it's um exclusivity. Um, what what are the answers again? Because I I moved I to have a different privileges. I put privileges, exclusivity, and the world of choice. It has yeah, th yeah. Those were the three I picked. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because wild adventures and cheapest deals, I don't think that qualified. Correct. Okay, you guys got that. The yacht club. Just think higher up. You're not going to have higher up people with wild adventures and looking for the cheapest deal. They, they got money. Next, come on. All right, the Yacht Club is available on board. Wasn't it that it was not available on, what was it, the Simonia, Symphonia, and one other one. Was it Musica? No, Lyrica. Was it those three that it wasn't? It's available on 14 of them. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. No. All right. Well, I'm probably going to get this wrong. Does anybody know? Oh, no, I'm almost to that one. I'm gonna okay. Here's the ones it's available on. I took a screenshot. Okay. World America. What is it? World America. Okay. 
Eurybia. Okay. World Europa. Okay. Seashore. Okay. Virtuosa. Okay. Grandiosa. Okay. Bellissima. Where is that? But let's, there it is. Okay. The view. Uh, 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 seaside sea view. Okay. Seaside. Okay. Meraviglia. Okay. Preziosa. Okay. Divina. What's after Preziosa? Uh, Divinia or Divina. Okay. Uh, Splendida. Okay. And Fantasia. All right. Take a picture, guys. You got it? I think it's a total of 10, isn't it? She said 14, so is it 10 or 14? It's the ones that I called out. I may have misread them, but. MSC Yacht Club is available on how many ships? 13. Okay. I submitted and it was it was correct what she said. Okay, so it's 14. Yeah, mine was right too. Okay, yeah, I was off. All right, you guys got pictures? No, on. wait. Sorry, my internet cut me out and I lost everything. So I'm, I'm right here at this question. Okay, just oh. take a picture if you can. Okay. Okay. Good? Okay. Correct. All right, Yacht Club guests benefit from Butler service 20 hours a day. False. 24 so hours. 24, right? It was only something else was 20. I think that was like food or something. 24 hours a day. Which are the dining venues of the Yacht Club? The Was Top Sail Lounge, the dedicated restaurant, and the Pool Sunday. Yeah. Okay, you guys got did that? You, did you already um, ask the question, um, MSC Yacht Club guests benefit from complimentary packages? That's false. Wait a minute, now that's... That's true. It was, okay. No, it's true. Okay. I see. It. Yeah, I see. It. It's true. Uh oh, it was, it was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's false. Okay. Um, I'm gonna submit this. Everybody, good on this one. Okay, I'm gonna submit it. Correct. Mm, yeah. Yes. So that was true or false? Uh, which one? The one you just submitted. It wasn't true. It was. It was. You. You had. It wasn't a true or false. It was uh, just those three rest. Those three um, restaurants. The the top top sun deck. Um, oh yeah, I think I did that one already. The okay. Restaurant right. and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Did everybody pass? Not there yet. I have to go back to the Divina and all of them. I don't know what they are. The Splendida and stuff. I have to go back and try to find them. If somebody could read them to me. Okay. Yeah. Who whoever took a picture, you guys can read that to her. The fourteen of them, or just read to her the ones that that didn't show up. Maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to find my gallery, and I can somebody read me the ships. Somebody there? I got them pulled. I got them pulled out, Marty. Okay. Can you read yeah, them to me? Read the ships, the fourteen ships. That would be great. I I can. It's the Divina. Okay. 
the last one in that group, the the V one. The the virtuosa. Yes. Okay. Splendina. Okay. Keep reading. We're all to Europe. We're okay. The two on the bottom in the next row. The Euribia and World of America. Yes. Okay. The next row is all four. Sea view, seaside, and seashore. And World America. Uh, okay. Fantasia. Okay. And then the last three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I only have thirteen. So I'm missing one. Hold on. Divina, Virtuosa, Splendida, World, Europa, Uriba, Seaside, Sea View, Seashore, World, America, Fantasia, Isla Rica. What am I missing? You should have two Mer in the first row. Meraglia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got that one. And then the the Royal Suites. Did anybody get that one? I don't know which ones are the right ones for the suites. Did anybody get that right? Because it said that I got it wrong and it said all of them, but does anybody? That wasn't. Did anybody get that one right? What was the question again? It's which What are the staterooms you can sell with the MS? Club. Royal that Deluxe Owner Duplex Executive and Family Deluxe Grand Suite and Interior. So which one isn't it? The Super Family Stateroom it isn't? It's not the Super Family, not the outside and not the duplex. I think um, because I, I had chose all of them. Those are the only ones that had X's on it, so. Okay, so those three, super family, duplex, and outside with restricted view are not. Correct. Correct. Okay, I'm going to submit that. That's correct. Yay. Okay. All right. Okay. Did everybody pass? Everybody good? So I'm saying I, not the URL is not found. Did everybody get that? Yeah, that's what I got. I had to just go back to the home page. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So let's see where we're at. Hopefully we can get through a couple more and then finish it next week. So let's see. All right. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five left. Okay. You want to do um, Ocean K and then we'll see how long that is. Maybe we can do Euro Europa and then do these in the final next week. Yeah. I think the next one doesn't seem too long. Okay. So this is Ocean K. All right. So this is the Marine Reserve behind the island, and then the test. So this shouldn't take too long. Who knows, maybe we can get through it today, right? Never know. Hey, come on. Oh, spinning, spinning, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Did anybody's come up? Yeah, again, I spoke too soon, right? Like, what the heck? Mine came up. Mine's, Mine's came Big up. Island. It's a lots of stuff. Okay. <laughs> 
give it a couple more minutes. There it goes. All right. Click to discover the Ocean K areas. All right. So we'll start at the top. This is the open house beach. Does it give you more information or no? Okay. We do next, see if it goes to the next one. No. Sorry, I thought it would go to the next one. So it did say I could finish it, but <clears throat> all right. Bimini Beach, calm water, beautiful ocean views. North Beach. Pristine white sand. Every beach at Ocean K has rental stations where clients can rent mats, beach umbrellas, snorkel gear. Stations are located behind the public bathrooms. Every beach also has its own beach bar. Um, each flaunting a unique personality and ambiance. Smiling Fish, located in the marina, offering a variety of ice cream flavors ranging from classic to those with bohemian twists. The coffee bar serves fresh brewed coffee, espresso, cappuccino. Add an extra boost to your day. South Beach Shallow, clear water, perfect for lazing around on floating mats or inflatable rafts. Ocean K Lagoon. Privacy in secluded pristine paradise. Uh, the spa, a range of relaxing body treatments to be enjoyed with a spectacular view. Again, that will be charged extra. Wedding pavilion, sublime views, perfect place to rent for private ceremony. Boasts the largest stretch of beach on the island, over half a mile long. Perfect place to enjoy a variety of water sports or simply relax. Farthest point of the island, 20 minutes walk from the pier. Easy to follow signs allow guests to navigate Ocean Cape by foot. Alternately, an electric, electric tram service is available to transport guests. So that may be where you can maybe rent jet skis or something. All right, the lighthouse features Hemingway style bar and terrace. Offers wonderful views of the lighthouse. It's the best place to watch a breathtaking light show and enjoy the music and the DJs. Ship docks along the main plaza. Guests should always carry the cruises card with them in order to enter and exit the ship anytime. Cruise card can also be used for island purchases. The Welcome Pavilion. Guests explore, discover, relax, enjoy the beauty. Soak up beautiful island waters while on the snorkel, safari, kayak tour, or paddle boating. I like to do paddle boating. I like kayaking too, right? That'd be fun. Scuba Diving Center. Excursions and Rental Pavilion. Authentic Ocean Cape Village offers range of places to shop, eat, drink, and relax. Marina Bar, Bohemian Springer Family offers authentic Bohemian style cocktails and beverages. Guests can purchase their favorite souvenirs, beach items, towels, etc., as lip balms and sunscreen. A food court, complimentary, freshly complimentary meals. That's nice. Part of the chain of islands, um, south of Bimini. Food trucks, snacks, hot dogs, other items. Move around the island so guests can quench their appetites anytime on the island. Did I hit them all? I think so. 
All right, what's this? Something that locks me up. <laughs> Uh. Oh, okay, here. Prepaid packages. So this is how much it is to to do any of the adventures there. Again, um save up to 20% versus prices during the cruise. I think this is something maybe um to do when you um uh pre pre purchase it. All right, next. Short video, hopefully. All right. Gosh. Did anybody do this and does you just wait till it pops back up? Yeah, I just waited. All right. And then we finally upload it. Thank you. But for me, the quiz is still locked, so I have to go figure out what I didn't click on. Okay. This kicked me out twice. Click on each and of those little video circles. Twice. Go, huh? It's done the same thing. What? It's kicked me out of the video twice, and I've done it twice, and so it keeps showing that I've checked it off, but I can't get to the quiz either. Are you getting to the quiz? Mine's just been, I'm going to get out and try to go back into the. It didn't give me any problems. And I got, I did the video and everything and got the quiz and I've already done the quiz. Oh, the gremlins today. <laughs> <laughs> they ate too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Session timed out. Ay, 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 ay. Come on.
Okay, so somebody already took the quiz. So you know the answers for us? <coughs> It keeps showing. It keeps showing for me that I haven't watched the video when I go back in, and I've watched it twice. Let's see what it tells me. Because it kicks us out, and it won't let us get it back. <clears throat> I didn't close down the video and just let it keep playing while I went ahead and took the quiz. Okay. So how did you get back into it, though? Because mine just keeps kicking me out. No, it, the, the video pops up in a separate screen, and I just went back to the screen where the quiz was. Okay. Yeah, the video opens up on YouTube on a separate pop-up. Right, but I keep going back to it, but it won't come back to the... It just keeps online activity in progress, like there. See, it just keeps sitting there for me. Look at the your tray at the bottom. It might be that your screen is hidden and see what pops up, because mine does that. I have to open up at the tray at the bottom and go to my Chrome and find where what screen I'm on, because it... The two screens will show up. The online activity in progress is a separate screen from the screen where the actual what you're in is. Okay. Yeah, mine's doing it to it, saying it's not acknowledging the. Yeah, that's just like that's the same thing. It keeps not acknowledging that I've watched it. Okay. I'm curious. Um, did you watch the video? Yeah. Because sometimes, yeah, if, if you don't do everything, it it won't let you move forward. Yeah, I've watched it like two or three times, and I've even sped through it a few times to speed it up. That's what I'm saying, and it just keeps it like acknowledging that I'm not, and not acknowledging that I've watched it. Hmm. Have you tried refreshing when you get back to that screen? Just try refreshing on your Yeah, I'm trying to do that right now. See if I can just refresh. I wonder what the temperature is like over there right about now. <laughs> it's um, in the 80s, I think. At the first, because um, we're going to New York, which is going to be in the 50s, and then the uh -huh. Bahamas is going to be in the 80s. So we have to bring warm clothes and summer clothes. So yeah. We ended up packing a, uh, uh, or doing a check in bag for our, um, for our winter clothes. So. All right, so what I did is um, I played the video again, and now I'm just going to sit here and wait and see if it'll refresh on its own. So, again, sorry, guys. I don't know why it's being so um, picky right now. So how many? So, of go ahead. I was going to ask you. Um, you're. Um, is it a seven day cruise you're going on? Yeah. On the ninth. Yep. I yep. wonder if I, do I have time to, <laughs> or is it too late? Um, the free one, the the that one is closed out. They do have the thirty nine and the ninety nine cruises available, but I don't know if it's for those dates. So okay. we looked earlier, I think it said December, um, or I looked earlier on my training earlier today, um, I think like December 2nd had the $39 cruise. So when we get done here, we can look and see what's open. Okay. But yeah, the free cruise that ended, I think... I think it was November 4th or something. I know they extended it. It was supposed to be like ending this, um, 
October 30th. <clears throat> so is Michelle, is yours still pending like this? Yes, mine's doing the same thing yours is doing. I yeah, can't. mine is. But you guys said that it'll. It, yeah, mine is saying that it's back in my training. It'll re but when we do that, it makes us rewatch the video. Right. Hmm. That's why I'm letting it sit here for a minute and see if it'll come That's up. That's right. Otherwise, then we it says you're locked. You have to rewatch the video. Then we have to scan through the video and start it all over again. And then we get back to this page and it doesn't load. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. I've done this like four times and it just comes back to this and we sit here. Same thing Marty's page is doing. How's everybody else's? Are you guys in the same situation or did you guys get through it or what? Yeah, mine is taking me back to the video. I, I tried to see if I see when I when I sit on this screen that we're on, it comes back to tell me to resume. And then it takes me back in this continuous loop. Yeah, we just keep looping, Marnie. We can't get to this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all looping today. Did anyone else get it finished besides me? Oh, you got the quiz done? Oh yeah, I'm uh, I'm already in World Europa, waiting for everybody. Oh else. wow! Well, you're yeah. the only fortunate one today. The gremlins <laughs> like you. Oh my goodness! That's interesting. The rest of us are looping. <laughs> yeah. I was going to close out like everybody else and then try to see if I log back in if it'll let me complete it. Must not like everybody. <laughs> yes, not. Yeah, I, I was Let's trying see. to see I was trying to see if there's a way to um, go straight to the quiz without um... I think we've all been wanting to do crazy goofy stuff i've got so many i keep closing the windows so yeah because mine it tells me that i attended it but wait a minute wait a minute now i think i'm in the wrong one i think that's what it was i was in the yacht club i gotta go back have you been closing out that youtube um open screen I did, yeah. I thought that was the problem too. I closed it out each time, and then see it's not checked. See, then every time you have to go back, and it says the lesson is locked, so you have to watch it again. That's what happens to us. But you can scan through it. At least this video lets you scan through it. That just happened to me too. Yeah, that's what it's doing to all. of us it's like a little glitch oh you and know what i think it is i know it. i think i know what it is the video if you look at the video like you have to make sure that each one of those are checked off before you do the quiz if you don't see that check where the video is then it's not going to let you move forward exactly but what we're saying is as soon as we watch the video we right. sit here and it won't let us let us go back in yeah, it's not updating the video for us saying right. we watched it. We let the video end. We all, even if we scan it like to just a minute left and let it end, it doesn't update the video as if we watched it. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but you know, yes, it just has to have that check before you move forward. That's all I was saying. Yeah, yeah we even all see the check mark, but then we sit here and wait. I've seen the okay. check mark. I figured it out. Do not oh, close good. out your YouTube. Do not close out your YouTube uh -huh. video and back on the screen where it says quiz and Thank you'll see you. the check mark. I just did it three okay, times. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, go back to Ocean K <clears throat> and go back to it. 
watch watch the video you can skip through it but you have to watch it and then click back one leave that on and click back one screen to where it says quiz and you'll see the little check mark okay when you Perfect. say click back what do you mean click back so like down below you have how many uh screens you have open Like right now I'm on the quiz, so I don't want to <laughs> do anything to mess it. But straight down below, you click on your, your screens below to see what uh, uh, programs you have open. And then just click back one where it has our three little dills at the bottom shows the video. And then next to it is quiz. Look yeah, where I video see. is. And as soon as you yeah. get the little check mark, then you mm -hmm. can close your YouTube video one see what you mean yeah okay let's try that so we go to the start we i've got okay but my my screen loads automatically i can't even i can't it goes so fast i can't even do that mm -mm, that didn't work for me yeah it loads so dang fast that I can't. Okay, so my screen is up and I go back to Ocean K and I go back one screen with my chat. So let me ask you, did, did you have to wait a little while? Because I can see where it says activity is in progress. Did you have to wait a few minutes or did it automatically? Uh, when I did it the third time, it finally came up. I had to go back, like I said, one screen, look for the little check mark, and then I clicked on quiz, and I'm on quiz. So you didn't see anything that says online activity is in progress? You didn't see that? I did, but I did, but I'm using Google. If you guys are using a different engine, then it might not work the same. Yeah. I have Google Chrome. Okay. Oh, you're so using you're Google, Google Chrome. That could yeah, be it too. No, no. That could be it. That's what I'm saying. If you're not using the same, it wouldn't work. Man. Oh, okay. All right. Let me try that. Yeah, we'll be here an hour waiting for it to update your screen. <laughs> Marnie, scroll across your uh, Google at the bottom of your screen and see if you can, okay, find your Google Chrome thing. Yeah, go and, okay, see the ones with the, the pictures with the, yeah, that's the one you need to be look, um, I think that's the one you need to be looking at. I can't tell because I'm already past that. Okay, so see, you've got the check. You had the check, so now you can get into the. So I had it open, guys, so. Yeah. Okay, I had it open on a different because I looked right here and I had it open a couple times right here and here. Okay, I have two different ones. One will be the main thing that keeps saying online progress, yeah. and the other one with the picture will be the one where it's actually the quiz. the program we're in. Yeah, that's with Google Chrome. I don't know about other. Yeah, I. I wouldn't be surprised if that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So look, look at your your Google Chrome here, and look at your Windows, and make sure it's the pictures not showing that you know could be already there for you. I, I can't get mine to come up, so I'm just going to have to have you guys give me the answers, and mine is not coming up. Okay. Um, and I don't know if you saw, but when I went in, um, you know, I did update my, my Google. You updated what? My Google Chrome. I just had click settings, but I don't, I don't think that mattered because it was already open down here on another page. So I click down here, if you see my screen, and it opened up what I have opened up. And it had it open like three times, the test. OK. <clears throat> OK.
all right, let's try to try to at least see the answers and then hopefully maybe if you clear your cookies and try to go back in, just remember to look because there's pos it possibly has popped up. Like I said, I didn't clear out the, the YouTube either. I didn't close it out. So don't close it out and then just go back to your cookies. Marty, can Marty, can I ask something? Uh-huh. Once you're done the test, do you want her to just share her screen and you guys can just like I'm walk in, her through I'm it? I'm in, so let's just go. I uh, got a quiz. Okay. Let's go. All right, the Spa Ocean K is available on the island. Now I have to get back to you. I've lost the it's thing. True. But... true. For those you say true? Yes, it is true. They they have it on the island where you can look at the ocean while you're getting your massage. Again, you have to pay for it. Is it possible to add prepaid packages to reservations on MSC Book? True. Right. That is true. The Seekers Food Court is complimentary for all MSC guests. True. Awesome. I thought it was true. true. I think that's true. true okay. Where they said that that you do get to eat while you're there. They have specialty places that you have to pay for, but this one is the food court is available for us. Many ocean cake excursions available for booking. There are many. That's true. Mm -hmm. Kayaking, all different stuff before and during. Okay. Guests have full access to the ship's services. True. Correct. It will remain open. So if they don't for the dining and other food services. Well done. That was an easy one. All right. Everybody pass. Yes. Pretty much all true. All right. Yay. God, I have to go clean up my computer. Yeah, and I don't know what happened here, but it, <laughs> I'm, I guess I cleaned out my other ones. So I got to go back in here. The heck. All right, you guys want to try one more? Sure. The next one looks like it's going to be kind of long. Oh, it is? Yeah, because you have to go through all the different kind of suites and things. Oh, yeah, that's always a... So I'm just saying it looks like it might be a longer one. All right. Yeah, and it's almost been two hours, so we may not want to oops, we may not want to do that one today. Um let's look at let's go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to look for airfare to uh, discounts and stuff. So we got our free ticket for Disney. We're trying to figure out do we drive or I mean they had for spirit, they had nineteen dollar flights um to to John Wayne Airport. So it's like, okay, $40 a person to fly round trip, go up there, use our free ticket and come home. Wow. The gas is 156, I think to, it was saying, because they're trying to figure out the gas versus um, the flight. Because it's four hours from here to drive. All right, so that is your- And then you have, then you have to make sure what, I shouldn't say make sure, but then you'll have to hope that your flight is on time. Right. Um, and then you got to get Uber. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're we're trying to, Linda and I, I don't know if Linda's on here, but she, her and I, we went, remember, uh, we went a few weeks ago and we ended up getting free tickets from a cast member that was there because our tickets weren't available till the 27th of October. Uh -huh. so I'm like, oh, well, let's go back. But I leave next week for my cruise. And so I'm like, I can really only go like Wednesday because I don't have trainings or like on a Sunday. And I don't want to go on a Sunday because I figure it'll be busy. So, all right. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and do this one for next, next Friday. Uh, let's take a look and see. Um activities similar let me just look and see what it's about
yeah the way it's taking forever it's like we'll be here till two o'clock <laughs> hey you know folks um evo plus i saved my friends 700 dollars on a week's package with the key west um and when i double checked it with like priceline and um expedia um seriously the evo plus is really some great rates okay and, and they you need guys to still, try it um just so you know everybody that's grandfathered in right now you can get it for ten dollars and 99 cents but as of um if you don't get it um by eleven thirty and wait till december it's going up to 15.99 per person um i was checking yesterday I think we were doing a training yesterday, the day before, and um, I found uh, hotels here in Vegas for $11 a night. It's amazing, isn't it, Marnie? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And what you can, and what I was finding, too, adding in um, some of the hotels like Expedia and um, Priceline are adding in, like, um, dinner reserve. I mean, and, and, like, they include meals and you can take those meal packages out in ours. Okay. And some of these things. And they were $168 a day down in the Key West. Jeez. And so my my people don't eat like That's that. Expensive. $168 a day. And this wasn't all inclusives. Okay. So, so I saved them $700. Nice. So again, guys, you can use these for like daily commissions or just for family and friends. Um, so let's just, I, I think I did it like here. Let's just see real quick, just to see what it says. Um, so yeah, it is optional guys, but what I'm saying is you do need to, um, it goes up $5, um, December 1st if you guys you know want to purchase it so I would try to lock it in if you plan on getting it um at the 1099 and and just so you guys know if you haven't heard as of December 1st look eight dollars a night at the Rio guys it's amazing eight dollars a regular 24 okay so again it's still a cheap thing twenty dollars at Harrah's regularly 50. $11 at the Flamingo. I mean, this is crazy. Crazy, crazy. The link. $11. Look at that for Sahara. Yeah, look at that, though. That's crazy stuff. Jockey Club, 95 That's a timeshare there. $199. Westgate. Can you, um, Marnie, can you put the uh, the link for that? So I can register, please. Can you put that in the uh, chat? The link is in your back office. It's right here. You have to go into your back office. It's right here. Okay, Evo. You know, I think I did sign up for that. <laughs> yeah, I already yeah. did. Yeah, so it's right there. And then, uh, yeah, so guys, I'm telling you, um, it is a tax write-off also. Again, if you do not do this by, um, okay, any new agents that come on, December 1st, it's $89.99 because they're not going to have an option. This is going to be built into it. Okay. You are locked in at $69.99. And then if you buy this, it's $10.99. So you'll save $9.05 from new agents coming in. Okay. Um, again, if you don't purchase it by November 30th, it will be $15.99. If you guys cancel for any reason and reinstate, you're going to be charged $89.99 moving forward um, after December 1st, okay? So just wanted to kind of share that, make sure you guys understood that, okay? Mm -hmm. So again, here, almost $100 savings, Stratosphere, $11. So if, I'm sorry, if we um, get the Evo Plus for the $10.99 and say three, four months down the line, it's not working out for us and we cancel and decide to come back a couple months later, we're going to have to pay $15.99? Correct. Correct. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And I tell you what, you're going to save yourself and your clients. And I don't know how a lot of people do it, but you could just write, go down here and you do your comparison right there. 
So yeah. you see what Priceline, Expedia, or other hotels are pay paying. And so you can figure out what you want to charge for your commission based you on what, what we do is the difference. That's how right. we've always done it. So like here, it's a $30 difference. So you charge $35 a night, $15. Right. So that you way. half it or however. Yeah. yeah. I always take half as yeah. my commission. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. You don't gouge them. I mean, no. you can if you want, but again, that's, we just, that's how we've always taught that for the past seven years. Right. Same like right here, 95, you figure it's a hundred dollar difference, 50 bucks or 50 bucks, bucks. is your commission. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you're charging them a hundred, let's just say 150 a night. If they look it up themselves, they're going to be getting the 200 a night. Again, you guys want to double check on here under book. You want to check the cancellation. You always want to check reviews. You want to check any additional mm -hmm. fees. Okay. Like she was saying, sometimes the all inclusive, maybe you can include it or exclude it or whatever. So always be sure to read the small print and then verify, you know, the room to room, make sure it's the correct room to room yeah. that you're booking when you're going through this. Yeah. Cause sometimes they may, you know, have, it's like, this is a suite with a kitchen. Again, you have refundable meal plan room only. So again, double check everything, make sure you understand and include that information with your client. Another thing I want to show you really quick on profit agility, guys, we we're checking this one out. Um, it actually went up, but um, there was ones that were like $138 and you could add up to 2000 in commissions. Um, and they were like available tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. so can we still do minute. that, Marty? Huh? I thought, can we still, I thought it's now all commissioned through um, Archer. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is you charge that commission and you're going to get 80% of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's yeah, still so going like through here, Archer now. It's yeah, changed. So here, $700, you get 80% of that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. And again, watch the training. I have it on my YouTube channel. But, you know, like the room alone right here, you know, $2,000. This is our price, guys. Okay. Then you can add commission. And so you're saying, guys, this goes for $2,000. I'm giving it to you for $930. You know, and, and again, people are like, well, how do you sell that? How do you tell them where your charge is or something like that? Like in um, this was Tahoe, I think, 448. But some of these were at 2000 So again, 80% of 2000 Some people do half and half tube on that because um, the lady with profit agility went through that. Okay. So kind of just wanted to show you guys that. So let's get in and finish. It looks like we may end up with two extra weeks on this, but we'll see on MSC. Maybe we can kick it all out next week if it's running. Um, also, you guys checked on or wanted to ask about the cruises available right now. Um, again, you go to MSC book. So let me go back to that. Yeah, Teresa, so are you located like in Florida or Washington or Hawaii? Because those those fees are, yeah, if you're if you're in those states, that's one of the requirements. Again, what we say is we're not um we're not attorneys, but just make sure you know the laws when you charge fees. Okay, here we go. So right here, $39. So you go in here to learn more. So if you guys are interested in going to on a cruise next month, this is what's showing. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you can't beat these prices, so hold on. All right. I'm going to check that out. So, Does it yeah. say where it's going? Because I, I didn't look yeah. at it yet. Where, where is that one? In Mexico? Can you see? I'll put here available cruises. So right here, this one is going to Orlando, um, Mexico, Bahamas, uh, seven nights. 
and you have all these dates available, this is $99, okay? This is $38. This is four nights to the Bahamas for $39. Yeah, that's what I, that's, that's what I need, four nights. So they're four. November 27th or January 8th or 15th or February. Okay. Um, this one, seven nights, Port Canaveral, Nassau, December 2nd, $99. And then, of course, you're going to have gratuities. This one, January 28th or December 3rd, $39. And it's a balcony room, guys. Remember that. It's a balcony room for $39 oh, okay. plus you do the taxes and fees. So if you click here. It'll show you the, the breakdown, I think. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Okay. So I think this um, travel exclusives, I think it has the, the fees in it because it was, yeah, it's 150, I think, per person, or maybe this is the shorter one. So it's it's not as much um, for the taxes and fees. Mm -hmm. All right. So take advantage of this, guys. All right. Um, and watch all the specials. Okay. And uh, again, have an amazing Black Friday. Hopefully you guys get some good deals. I'm going to go do some some comparisons and stuff. Um, but I'm telling you, um, you know, stay plugged in, watch and check it out because I'm telling you, we're always getting specials. Also watch the uh, travel um, cafe um, in the back office. They're always posting the, the Black Friday specials also. Okay. Um, no, you don't get a code. Um, are you talking a code for this for like your roadmap to success or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I do know, like with me, I do a raffle um, for anybody that does a training. So you just fill out a raffle ticket for that. Um, so yeah, check with your sponsor, your mentor on that to see, you know, tell them you attended and see what they say. Um, did and you then again, post, I'm sorry, Marnie, did you post for tomorrow? What, are we in TBO or are we in a different training? for Saturday's class? Um, again, they're all posted ahead of time. So okay, let's I'll go, go look. Facebook. It's okay. No, that's I'll show you real quick. So under Facebook and, and most of the time, like <clears throat> tonight, I'll post it in all the chats with the link for this partic particular one, but they're posted right here under certificate workshops. And then you just go here to featured. She also has it here, but you go to featured here. And then she'll post the flyer along with um, the link. And it's usually right on top. Um, da, 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 right here. So see more. Okay. So we're doing Central Europe. Oh, so okay. Right here. So there's the link. I'll share it with you. Copy link. So go in and register for it. And then it's also here on this flyer, all the links. So again, we're going to be doing Euro Air, Rail Europe on um, next Great. Thursday. So did somebody have a question? Thank you. You're welcome. So yes, December's soon. So again, you guys can go in like the, the month you get it and pre-register with all these. So that way, when we get in, everybody's up and ready to go. Okay, because sometimes like we found out that, oops, you have to wait 24 hours to get approved. And it's like, ah, which is what I should do is make sure I get in here. And um, yeah, it looks like I'm already in this one. So agree to it. Put your email. I'm going to shut down my computer because it's just going real slow. So I think I'm already in this one not found so now so then what i need to do is i need to then log in okay so it looks like i'm not signed up for this one um once bypass password can continuing 
All right, so where do I sign up now? Da, da, da. Please fill in your password to continue. Oh, no, maybe I don't have my password yet. All right, save. All right, type of advisor. So I'm a travel advisor right here. I'm with Archer Travel, um, Travel Leaders Network, Post Agency. Again, Archer yeah, that's Travel. That's what I'm doing right now. Stay connected. There you go. Register. Oops, I'm in Nevada. Okay, so now I'm, see how easy that was? And now I'm ready to go. We're going to click learn. And we'll start this tomorrow. Learn about Europe, Czech Republic, Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary. So hopefully we'll be able to do it in one sitting. Sometimes, it, like this says 12 minutes, but when they say 12 minutes, it could be an hour. <laughs> So we never know, <laughs> but let's be ready for tomorrow. All right, everybody good? Yes, yes. Yes. I'll check yes. In. Thank, okay. Thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. And again, sorry, some of these things, but get in here and check out these rates, guys. You know, you want to get away to Lake Tahoe, $282, guys, for yourself, $300 and that one of these I know I went into it, it slept eight people. Okay. So some of them are last minute, but you can't beat the deals. You know, I went to Costa Rica for $138, guys. So okay. in a um, I'm trying to sign up for the Central Europe, but it's asking for the agency host, but I don't see our Archer host travel. Yet. Yeah, Archer travel travel, leaders. Yeah. We just went through that. So it's it's Archer Travel. And then the, the Travel Leaders Network like Consortium. Let me know if you need help. Did you find it? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. I think I'm in. Okay. Perfect. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place, 10 a.m. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, a weekend. Thank you so much for attending. And uh, did, did you say 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. Pacific. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. Um, if you're okay. on my team, we're having happy hour at 4 p.m. today if you want to join me online. So. Thanks, Marty. Yeah. All right. Thank, Bye, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank Have you. Fun, guys. Thank you. And this will be recorded also. Okay. Um, um.